everyone. I'm Dr. Han. I'm a board-certified oral surgeon with North Texas Dental Surgery. If you're preparing for oral surgery, whether it's wisdom teeth removal, dental implants, or any other procedures, there's one step you don't want to skip, an annual physical exam with your primary care physician. You might be thinking, why do I need a medical checkup for something happening in my mouth? Well, here's why it matters. Number one, your overall health affects your recovery. Conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, anemia, or some kind of immune disease can impact how you heal after surgery and how your body responds to anesthesia or some post-operative medications. Number two, a primary care doctor can identify risks. They might catch underlying issues like heart conditions or lung conditions or immune disorders that could possibly complicate surgery, delay surgery, or even require adjustments in your care. Number three, avoid unexpected delays. Discovering issues like uncontrolled high blood pressure, fainting spells, or shortness of breath, or swollen ankles on the day of consultation or surgery can lead to last minute cancellations or rescheduling. A physical exam ahead of time helps you avoid surprises and keeps your treatment on track. Number four, uh, medication safety is key. Your primary care doctor keeps track of all the medications you're on and can help prevent harmful interactions with any drugs prescribed by your surgeon they may also stop medications that might possibly complicate surgery. Sometimes they can stop medications that you no longer need. Uh, such medications include blood thinners, steroids, inhalers. Number five, clearance for anesthesia. If you'll be under sedation or general anesthesia, many surgeons require medical clearances to ensure it's safe. Number six, up-to-date lab work and vitals. Your primary care doctor can provide current labs and vitals which helps your surgical team make safer decisions during your procedures or before. Next, I'll be talking about some common findings that I find and some other practitioners find that may prompt us to ask you to get a medical follow-up before surgery. Irregular or rapid heart rate. Uh, this may indicate that you have some undiagnosed arrhythmia or some heart condition that can potentially put your health at risk during surgery or anesthesia. Uncontrolled high blood pressure. Your blood pressure is measured before your consultation and surgery, and if it's too high, it poses a health risk, such as a stroke, a heart attack, and that is even if you feel fine. Leg swelling or edema. It could be a sign of a circulatory issue, but it could be your heart, your liver, your kidney. It is definitely something that needs to be checked. History of fainting spells or lightheadedness. Uh, this is something that we commonly encounter, especially during dental visits. Uh, you're afraid, you're scared, you're anxious. Um, however, there could be an underlying cardiac issue or it could potentially be a seizure, uh, which definitely needs to be worked up. Shortness of breath at rest or during mild activity. Again, this could be signaling a heart condition or a lung issue that could potentially complicate your sedation. Unexplained weight loss or fatigue. Uh, this sometimes indicates that you may have an underlying systemic illness. Uh, worst case scenario, it could be a sign of a cancer. Poorly controlled diabetes. You'll see slow healing wounds, frequent infections. Uh, when we measure a blood sugar before your procedure, we'll see very high blood sugar levels. Uh, if you're a diabetic, you may need more frequent follow-ups with your primary care physician or your endocrinologist. Uh, if it's high, it may be time to adjust your medications before your procedure. It's not about delaying your care. It's about making sure we're treating the whole person, not just the teeth. Working with your primary care physician helps keep your surgery safe and successful. So if it's been more than a year since your last physical, I know it's annoying. Schedule one before your surgery. It's a small step that protects your health and ensures the best possible outcome. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hit the like button and subscribe for more helpful tips and patient education.